tusome katika kitabu kile ambacho Yesu alikipenda zaidi. Somebody may ask which book pastor which Jesus likes most. Mtu anaweza akasema mchungaji ni kitabu gani ambacho Yesu alikipenda sana? I will shock you today. Nitakushtua leo. I will show you. Nitakuonyesha. This book is the results of us being here today. Hiki kitabu ni matokeo ya sisi kuwa hapa leo. There was a prophet of God. Kulikuwa na nabii wa Mungu. He prophesied. Alitoa unabii. About something. Kuhusiana na jambo. 800 years passed. Miaka 800 iliyopita. That prophecy didn't come to pass. Na huo ushu huo unabii haukupitimia. It means maybe people were laughing at him. Pengine watu walimcheka ina maana. What kind of a prophet are you? Ni nabii wa namna gani wewe? He said there will be one, two, three, and there is nothing. Alisema kutakuwa na moja, mbili, tatu alafu hakuna kitu. You can give a prophet today. Unaweza ukatoa unabii leo. It may not come to pass today. Unaweza usitimie leo. And people may start despising you. Na watu wanaweza kaanza kukudharau. But today everyone is calling this prophet a major prophet. Lakini leo hii kila mtu anamuita huyu nabii kuwa nabii mkuu. In the Bible there are minor prophets and major prophets. Na kwenye Biblia kuna manabii wadogo na manabii wakubwa. The minor prophets are the example of uh, prophet Haggai. Manabii wadogo ni kwa mfano wa uh, nabii Hagai. It doesn't mean that they are small in the kingdom. Haimaanishi kwamba ni wadogo kwenye ufalme. But I don't know where these minor and major prophets came. Lakini sijui wapi imetokea hii prophet uh, nabii mkubwa na nabii mdogo. But the, there was a prophet who gave a prophecy and it didn't come to pass for 800 years. Lakini kuna nabii ambaye alitoa unabii na haukutimia kwa miaka 800. respect him a lot. Lakini sasa tunamheshimu sana. But during his life lakini katika maisha yake everybody was laughing at him kila mtu alikuwa akimcheka you fake prophet we ni nabii wa uongo it is better you go and do business ni bora uende ukafanye biashara you love money unapenda pesa you prophet prophet people we na nabii nabii wa watu just as the same way as people who are despising people of god hivyo hivyo watu wanavyodharau watumishi wa Mungu in these days katika siku hizi and this prophet of god na huyu nabii wa Mungu is no one else sio mwingine but prophet isaiah lakini ni nabii Isaya. Prophet Isaiah gave wonderful prophecies. Nabii Isaya alitoa nabii nzuri kabisa. But you can imagine during his life it didn't come to pass. Lakini unaweza ukafikiria kipindi cha uhai wake hayakutimia. You can imagine the village and the country was living. Unaweza ukafikiria kijiji na nchi aliyokuwa akiishi. You have moved around to tell people. Ulikuwa umeongea kwa watu 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 kumi. Just as the same way was Jonah went to Nineveh. Vivyo hivyo ambavyo Yona alienda ninawe. He gave a prophecy. Alitoa unabii. God is about to punish this land. Mungu anaenda kuiadhibu nchi. God will surely punish you. Mungu hakika atawaadhibu. Eh, is punishing you. Na hakikishia anawaadhibu. Those people they never complained to to, Wa, to Jonah. Wale watu hawakumlalamikia Yona. They went back. Walirudi. They put up their clothes. Wakaralua mavazi yao. They took dust. Wakajipaka majivu. They prayed before the Lord. Wakaomba mbele za Mungu. They repented before the Lord. Wakatubu mbele za Mungu. Lord that you may forgive us. E bwana na utusame. We are repenting us good God. Tunatubu e bwana. After repenting. Baada ya toba. God forgive them. Mungu akasamee. Jonah was just on the top waiting for that village to be destroyed. Yona alikuwa Yona alikuwa amekaa kileleni akisubiri ule mji uharibiwe and that city was not destroyed lakini ule mji haukuharibiwa can you imagine the status of jonah unaweza ukafikiria yona alikuwaaje god sent him to give a prophecy mungu amemtuma akatoe unabii and then god didn't send him to, to tell them that god has cancelled na mungu hakumwambia nenda kaambie nimeahirisha he cancelled by himself aliahirisha yeye mwenyewe why kwa nini he is god He doesn't do things the way we want. Hafanyi vitu vile unavyotaka. You may want somebody to be destroyed. Unaweza ukataka mtu aharibiwe. But God he has another plan different Lakini way. Lakini Mungu anao mpango mwingine tofauti. You may want your boyfriend to lose money. Unaweza ukataka mpenzi wako apoteze pesa. So that he may remember you. Kusudi akukumbuke. Every time you are praying for him to be broke. Kila mara unamwombea akose hela. God is increasing him. Mungu anaongeza. The way we pray. Vile unavyoomba. It is not the way God thinks. Hasivyo Mungu God does things in a zigzag. Mungu anafanya vitu kwa zigzag. In our eyes. Kwa macho yetu. But to him they are straight away. Lakini kwake yeye yamenyoka. He announced 
announce the end at the beginning. And that person is declared a good person to God. Why? Because he has good plans for us. Family, I want us to read the book of Isaiah. Chapter 53. This is my favorite book. And I wondered yesterday when I was going back home. I was meditating about it in the afternoon. Then my wife put a, an audio Bible in the car. And she put Isaiah 53. And I said, This woman, does she understand what she has put? I understand that we are soulmates. Once you thinking of something, I'm also thinking of that thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God give you somebody whom you go in a parary. In the mighty name of Jesus. So it wasn't a coincidence. But it was God's plan. That she was also reading about the book of Isaiah. Praise the wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. I want us to read quickly. The Bible says, Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Okay, number one, read. Ni nani aliyesadiki habari tulioileta na mkono wa Bwana umefunuliwa amefunuliwa nani? Who? Nani? We believe the prophecy will give. Aliyesadiki habari tunaoileta. That this year will be our year of breakthrough. Kwamba huu mwaka ni mwaka wetu wa mpenyo. Who will believe? Nani atakayeamini? Unless they see Gisela with a job. Unless they see you uprifted. Ah. Do you remember the new year? I said Fida you are going to be tested so, so much. Not even in March he has already been into trials. But he is winning. The good thing is. Lakini anashinda. He's been tried at the office. Anajaribiwa ofisini. He's been tried in the field. Anajaribiwa mtaani. Every trial comes for you to be uplifted. Kila jaribu linakuja ili uinuliwe. We are going to number 2. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He has no form or comeliness and when we see him there is no beauty that we should desire him. Maana alikuwa mbele zake kama mche mororo na kama mzizi katika nchi kavu yeye hana umbo wala uzuri na tumuonapo hana uzuri hata tumtamani. He has no beauty. Hana uzuri. That we should desire him. Kwamba tumtamani. Prophet Isaiah said. Nabii Isaiah anasema, There will come a man. Atakuja mtu. Called Jesus. Anaitwa Yesu. He will have no beauty. Hata kuwa na uzuri. No one will believe him. Hakuna atakaye muamini. Exactly. The same happened. Vivyo hivyo imetokea. We know he's the son of carpenter. Tunajua ni mtoto wa wa fundi seremani. How come he's saying he's God? Anawezaje kusema yeye ni Mungu? Don't don't dare with us. Usitusumbue. I am a Pharisee. Mimi ni mfarisayo. Do you know God? Unamjua Mungu? Young man. Kijana. I am a Pharisee. Mimi ni mfarisayo. I am a Sadducee. Mimi ni msadukayo. Today you are calling yourself God. Leo unajiita Mungu. I carry the laws. Ninaibeba sheria. I carry the laws. Ninazibeba sheria. Every time they were moving with the laws. Kila mara walikuwa wakitembea na sheria. But he said, Lakini alisema, I am the one. Mimi ndiye. But everybody despised him. Na kila mtu alimdharau. He was a man of sorrow. Alikuwa ni mtu wa uzuni. I am going to number 3. He is despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, we did not esteem him. Alidharauliwa na kukataliwa na watu, mtu wa huzuni nyingi ajiwai sikitiko, na kama mtu ambaye watu humficha nyuso zao, alidharauliwa wala hatu kumhesabu kwa kitu. He was despised. 
alitharauliwa that is why he said in the new testament ndio maana anasema katika agano jipya let no one despise your youth mtu na asidharau ujana wako because i was despised for you kwa sababu mimi nilidharauliwa kwa ajili yako so that you may not be despised kusudi wewe usidharauliwe for me we are going to read again about the story of this man from number 4 familia tunaenda kusoma habari ya huyu mtu tena this is the source of everything in this world huu ni mwanzo wa kila kitu hapa duniani the bible says biblia inasema in verse 1 5 Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by God and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities they cha- chastised for chastis chast- just cement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed hakika ameachukua masikitiko yetu amejitwika huzuni zetu lakini tulimdharau ya kuwa ame tulimdhania ya kuwa amepigwa amepigwa na Mungu na kuteswa bali alijeruhiwa kwa makosa yetu alichubuliwa kwa maovu yetu adhabu ya amani yetu ilikuwa juu yake na kwa kupigwa kwake sisi tumepona family Jesus allowed himself to be persecuted on our behalf. Familia Yesu alikubali ahukumiwe kwa ajili yetu. He was ready to be destroyed to be afflicted so that you may not be afflicted. Alikuwa tayari ateswe kusudi wewe usiteswe. They were beating him. Walikuwa wakimpiga one stroke walimchapa he said this is for ado la akasema hii ni kwa ajili ya rema this is for mama debora hii ni kwa ajili ya mama debora this is for adren hii ni kwa ajili ya adren this is for you hii ni kwa ajili yako wakampiga walimpiga yet he was quiet na bado alikuwa kimya he was quiet so that you may not be quiet alikuwa kimya ili wewe usiwe kimya he was calm so that you may not be afflicted alitulia ili wewe usiteswe he took away alichukua he took away alichukua maumivu yetu yote maumivu yetu yote Isaiah told the Israelites 800 before it came to pass familia Isaiah aliwaambia waIsraeli miaka 800 kabla haijatimia no one believed about him hakuna aliyemwamini because everyone was waiting kwa sababu kila mtu alikuwa akisubiri when man of god will come apapo mtumishi wa Mungu atakuja mwana wa Adam atakapokuja maybe will come like a boss boosting himself atakuja kama bosi mkubwa akijibu but he came so humbly lakini alikuja mnyenyekevu sana so that you may be uplifted kusudi wewe uweze kuinuliwa we go to verse 7 and 8 tunaenda mstari wa 7 na 8 he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he, he opened not his mouth he was led as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before its shearers is silent so he opened not his mouth read verse 7 alionewa lakini alinyenyekea wala hakufunua kinywa chake kama mwana kondoo apelekwae machinjoni na kama vile kondoo anyamazavyo mbele yao wakatao manyoya yake naam hakufunua kinywa chake he was taken from prison and from ju- from judgment and who will declare his generation for he was cut off from the land of the living for the tra- transgressions of my people he was stricken kwa kuonewa na kuhukumiwa aliondolewa na maisha yake ni nani angeajali maana amekatiliwa mbali na nchi ya walio hai alipigwa kwa sababu ya makosa ya watu wangu verse 9 and they made his grave with the wicked but with the rich at his death because he had done no violence no was any deceit in his mouth mstari wa tisa wakamfanyia kaburi pamoja na wabaya na pamoja na matajiri katika kufa kwake ingawa hakutenda jeuri wala hapakuwa na hila kinywani mwake yet it pleased the lord to bruise him he has put him to grief when you make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pressure of the lord shall prosper in his land lakini bwana aliridhika kumchubua amemhuzunisha atakapofanya nafsi yake kuadhabiu ya dhambi ataona uzao wake utaishi siku nyingi na mapenzi ya bwana yatafanyika mkononi mwake Hallelujah we go to verse to verse to verse 11 he shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied by his knowledge my righteous servant shall justify many 
my righteous servant shall justify many for he shall bear the iniquities Ataona mazao ya taabu ya nafsi yake na kuridhika kwa maarifa yake mtumishi wangu mwenye haki atawafanyia atawafanya wengi kuwa wenye haki naye atayachukua maovu yao He will justify many atawafanya wengi kuwa wenye haki Today he has justified us. Leo ametufanya sisi kuwa wenye haki. We all understand that. Sote tunaelewa hilo. By his stripes. Kwa kupigwa kwake. We are healed. Tumepona. We are justified. Tumehesabiwa haki. Today we can stand before the altar. Leo tunaweza kusimama madhabahuni. And say our dear Jack is home safely. Na kusema Jack amefika nyumbani salama. Why? Kwa nini? Because there, there was somebody who paid the price. Kwa sababu kuna mtu aliyelipa gharama. There was somebody who just fight us. Kuna mtu ambaye ametuhesabia haki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 12 says. Mstari wa 12. The Bible says clearly Therefore I will divide him in a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgressors and he bore the sins of many and made intercession for the transgressors Kwa hiyo nitamgawia sehemu pamoja na wakuu naye atagawana atagawana nyara pamoja nao walio hodari kwa sababu alimwaga nafsi yake hata kufa akahesabiwa pamoja nao wako sawa walakini alichukua dhambi za watu wengi na kuwaombea wakosaji Family Jesus suffered persecution. Familia Yesu alipitia kuhukumiwa. He suffered persecution. Alipitia hukumu. And the Bible says, Biblia inasema, as he is, kama vile alivyo, so are we. Ndivyo tulivyo. If Jesus did suffer persecution. Kwa hiyo kama Yesu alipitia hukumu, it means us his children. Maana yake sisi wanaye, we will also suffer persecution. Pia tutapitia hukumu. And sometimes while suffering persecution. Na mara nyingine tukiwa tunapitia hukumu, people who will say that they are being punished by God. Kuna watu ambao watasema tunaadhibiwa na Mungu. They will say he is being punished by God. Watasema huyu anaadhibiwa na Mungu. But we have read in the book of Isaiah chapter Lakini 53. Lakini tumesoma katika kitabu cha Isaya sura ya 53. Even our Messiah. Hata Masihi wetu. They say that he was being punished by God. Pia walisema anaadhibiwa na Mungu. They never knew that he was God himself. Hawakujua kwamba yeye alikuwa ni Mungu mwenyewe. Family will suffer persecution. Familia tutapitia hukumu. Family will be rejected. Tutakataliwa. We'll pass through a time of no job. Tutapitia kipindi cha kukosa kazi. We'll pass through times of being sick. Tutakipitia kipindi cha magonjwa. It doesn't mean that we are not children of God. Haimaanishi kwamba sisi sio wana wa Mungu. But think of this. Lakini fikiria hii. As it is being written in the second book of Timothy Kama chapter 3 verse 12. Kama ya 3 mstari wa 12. That those people who are living godly. Kwamba hao watu wanaoishi kama Mungu. They shall also suffer persecution. Pia watapitia hukumu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But also in the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 29. Na pia katika kitabu cha Filipi sura ya 1. The Bible says that we should, we should not only believe in him God. Tusiamini tu kwa Mungu. But also to suffer. Lakini pia tupitie dhiki. We must be ready to suffer. Tuwe tayari kupitia dhiki. But in the book of John chapter 16 verse 33. Katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 16 verse 33. Mstari wa 33. The Bible says Biblia inasema In the world di ulimwenguni you shall suffer tribulation nayo dhiki We shall suffer tribulation tutapitia dhiki Mama get ready to suffer tribulation Mama kwa tayari kupitia dhiki I started teaching this way back Nilianza kufundisha haya hapo nyuma That many people are teaching us only about blessings Kwamba wengi wanatufundisha baraka But we don't teach people that one of the advantage of being born again will suffer persecution lakini hatuwafundishi watu kwamba moja ya faida za kuokoka ni kupitia dhiki because the book of matthew chapter 5 verse 10 kwa sababu kitabu cha mathayo sura ya 5 mstari wa 10 the bible says biblia inasema blessed are the persecuted ones heri wao heri wao wenye dhiki because for theirs is the kingdom of heaven kwa maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni wao hallelujah 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 Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. The book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 35. Kitabu cha Hebrews sura ya 11 mstari wa 35. The Bible says that tortured not accepting deliverance that they may obtain a better resurrection. Biblia inasema 
that will be tortured kwamba watateseka not accepting deliverance bila kupokea wokovu that they may obtain a better resurrection kusudi wa upate ufufuo you may read in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 35 unaweza ukasoma katika kitabu cha hebrania sura ya 11 mstari wa 35 haleluya haleluya family when you are being persecuted familia ukiwa unapitia mateso god is there with you mungu yupo pamoja nawe god is taking care of you mungu anakutunza that is why ndio maana you may see una This is March. Hapo ni mwezi wa 3. But you don't know how it passed from January to March. Lakini haujui imepitaje kuanzia January mpaka mwezi wa 3. Because you didn't have money you were supposed to have. Kwa sababu haukuwa na pesa uliopaswa kuwa nayo. If somebody may give you a budget to write down. Kama mtu angekuandiki angekwambia uandike budget. You could put maybe 3 million. Ungeandika labda milioni 3. But you may find in 3 months. Lakini unaweza ukaona kwa miezi mitatu. You have just used 50,000. Umetumia 50,000. And how the three months have passed na miezi mitatu imepitaje you don't know haujui this shows that god is there with you hii inaonyesha kwamba mungu yuko na wewe hallelujah hallelujah when you read in the book of psalms chapter 46 verse 1 ukisoma kitabu cha zaburi ya 46 mstari wa 1 the bible says it clearly biblia inasema wazi god is very present in in helping during trouble Mungu yupo kukusaidia katika dhiki Even during trouble God is there present with you Hata katika matatizo Mungu yupo kukusaidia Hallelujah Hallelujah Even David says in Psalms 23 Hata Daudi anasema katika Zaburi 23 The Lord is my shepherd Bwana ni mchungaji wangu I shall not want Sitapungukiwa Why Kwa nini The Lord is with me always Bwana yuko na mimi siku zote He is my shepherd Yeye ni mchungaji wangu Shepherd will never leave you anytime Mchungaji hawezi kukuacha saa yoyote Even if you backslide he will never leave you Hata ukianguka hata kuacha Even if you you, you say that I, I don't go to church he will never leave you Hata ukisema siendi kanisani hata Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8. Biblia inasema katika Warumi sura ya 8 verse 35 to 39 Mstari wa 35 hadi 39 What can separate us from the love of God? Nini kitatutenga na upendo wa Mungu? Is it persecution? Je, ni dhiki? It means even persecution. Manake hata dhiki. Cannot separate us from God. Haiwezi kututenga na upendo. When you're passing through persecution. Ukipitia katika dhiki. Just say Lord I thank you. Sema Bwana ninakushukuru. Lord I thank you. Bwana ninakushukuru. One of the advantage of being born again. Moja kati ya faida za kuwa umeokoka. I enter heaven. Nitaingia mbinguni. I am serving the real God. Ninamtumikia Mungu. But another thing you must be persecuted. Lakini ni lazima upitie dhiki. You must be rejected. Lazima ukataliwe. You must be left behind. Lazima uache must be ignored lazima you must be ignored lazima upuuzwe so don't worry about the persecution kwa usiwe na hofu kuhusiana na it is just there ipo to help us kutusaidia to move forward kuenda mbele hallelujah hallelujah another advantage of being persecuted faida nyingine ya kupitia dhiki they may put you to jail wanaweza akakufunga The Bible says some of you will be sent to jail. Biblia inasema wengine wenu mtafungwa gerezani. Do you know its advantage? Unajua hii kwamba ni faida. Because you have time to Kusa... preach to those people in jail. Kwa sababu unao muda wa kuwahubiria hao walio gerezani. There are people in jail who will receive Jesus kuna when watu, jail. Kuna watu walio gerezani wanampokea Yesu wakiwa gerezani. Without a servant of God to go in jail. Bila mtumishi wa Mungu kuingia gerezani. It means those people won't be saved. Maana yake hao watu hawatampokea Yesu. Don't judge every man of god who, who is being sentenced to prison usimhukumu kila mtumishi wa mungu anayehukumiwa kwenda gerezani there are people who are going to jail so that they save purpose kuna watu ambao wanakwenda gerezani ili kulitumikia kusudi people say to god jesus watu wanasema kwa bwana they said to jesus walimsema kwa yesu he is being punished by god kwamba ameadhibiwa na mungu sometimes you'll walk without shoes mara nyingine unaweza ukatembea bila viatu barefoot peku peku you don't have money hauna pesa they will say he's being punished by god alafu watasema anaadhibiwa na mungu they won't know that at that time it is the time when god is promoting you hajui kwamba wakati huo ndipo mungu anapokuinua and in the last day na katika siku za mwisho god will call you mungu atakuita come on baby jordan come on daughter Job, Come on son. Job, Come. 
Do you remember? On that day, you walked with no shoes. I was with Gabriel. I was with Mikael. We are looking at you. Look at this DVD. I am so proud of you. Daughter, come. Jo. This is where I prepared for you. Hapa ndipo nilipokuandaa. This is your new home. Hapa ndio mahali nyumbani kwako. You want kwaku. it shoes here. Hautahitaji viatu hapa. Come on, this is your is your new home. Hapa ndio nyumbani kwako. Where Jesus is the son. Ambapo Yesu ndio jua. There is no darkness. Hakuna giza. Come on daughter, this is your home. Jo binti, hapa ndio nyumbani kwako. You are ready to be persecuted for Ulikuwa me. Ulikuwa tayari kuhukumiwa kwa ajili yangu. Yet you kept on your faith. Lakini ulitunza imani yako. Good servant enter. Mtumishi mwema ingia. The moment you are entering. Mara unapoingia, you want me somebody to introduce to you. Hautahitaji mtu akutambue. In your heart you will know. Moyoni mwako utajua. This is brother Peter. Huyu ni kaka Petro. Hey brother Peter. Hey kaka Petro. Why did you cut the the ear of that person? Kwa nini ulikata sikio la yule mtu? Hey brother Peter you are mad. Hey kaka Petro wewe ni mbaya. Peter will laugh at you. Petro atacheka. All of a sudden papa Abraham is here. Alafu ghafla baba Abraham yuko hapa. Wondering Paul is here. Apostle Paul is here. Mtume Paulo yuko hapa. They are all talking to you. Wote wanazungumza naye. Welcome ayo. in the kingdom. Karibu kwenye ufalme. Come. Jo. We have been living here waiting for you. Tumekuwa tukikusubiri. Almost for 2000 years. Kwa miaka karibu 2000. There was a time you backslidden. Kuna wakati ulianguka. But this angel lakini huyu malaika was sent to you alitumwa kwako and then you turn back to god na kufanya urudi kwa mungu but it was god who sent it to you lakini ni mungu aliyefanya hivyo kwako hey, now you are home sasa umefika nyumbani you want feel hautaisi you want remember hautakumbuka the, the pain maumivu but you know lakini unajua ah oh, every time i was persecuted kila mara nilipohukumiwa it was for god ilikuwa kwa ajili ya it was for god ilikuwa ni kwa ajili ya it was for god ilikuwa kwa ajili ya Family Paul and Silas were in jail. Familia Paulo na Sila walikuwa gerezani. They prayed. Waliimba. And the chains of the prison opened. Na milango ya gereza ikafunguka. And they got time to preach to that person. Na wakapata muda wa kuahubiria wale watu. Which has stopped me from being baptized. Nini kitazuia msibatizwe? It is important for for you to go in jail so that you may preach there. Ni muhimu kwako wewe kwenda gerezani ili ukahubiri. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes Marengine, when you are being persecuted ukiwa unahukumiwa and then when uh, you as the god's messenger alafu kama mjumbe wa Mungu enemy is broadcasting the message adui anaisambaza ujumbe when you are being persecuted kwa nini unahukumiwa ah he's in jail yuko gerezani he's in jail uko gerezani and people will be looking at you na watu watakuwa wakikwambia ah he has been beaten by the soldiers amepigwa na wanajeshi they struck him wamemchapa and people start reading about you na watu wataanza kusoma habari zao lazima utengeneze tukio you must make an event but don't make it you tukio lakini usijifanye wewe kuwa tukio adui atafikiri anakumaliza the enemy will think he's finishing you but he is not finishing you lakini hakumalizi devil was so full shetani ni was so full ni mcha, ni mjinga he was so full alikuwa ni mjinga he was he will always be full na atabaki kuwa mjinga because if he was wise enough kwa sababu kama angekuwa na hekima ya kutosha you don't kill jesus wewe kumuua yesu you leave him na muacha by leaving him kwa kumuacha one day he will go back to heaven siku moja atarudi mbinguni without dying bila kufa there will be no salvation itakuwa hakuna and they thought they were killing him na ndani wanamuua kwa kumpiga and by beating him persecuting him na kwa kumpiga na kumhukumu now there is a man who is preaching sasa hivi kuna mtu anayehubiri if it wasn't jesus love to die kama isingekuwa yesu kufa where would i be ningekuwa wapi if it wasn't for jesus to die kama isingekuwa yesu to be persecuted on your behalf na kuhukumiwa kwa ni habari you are not supposed to stand here and listen to me basi kusimama kukaa hapa kunisikiliza but never thought he was killing jesus lakini shetani alidhani anamuua yesu And thank God he didn't kill. Na namshukuru Mungu alikuwa. Devil didn't kill Jesus. Hakumuua Yesu. Yes, he was persecuted. Alihukumiwa yes. But yet he didn't kill Jesus. Lakini hakumuua Yesu. Jesus by himself. Yesu mwenyewe. He said. Alisema. Father. Baba. In your hands. Mikononi mwako. I commit my heart. Naiweka roho yako. And he took his spirit. Na akatoa nafsi yake. 
he gave it to his father. Akampa babake. Devil was not able to kill Jesus. Shetani hakuweza kumuua yeye. Only what he can do is to persecute. Lile aliweza tu kufanya ni kumhukumu. That is why I'm telling you. Ndio maana nakwambia. Get ready. Uwe tayari. Even when they are persecuting you. Hata wakati wanakuhukumu. You won't feel the pain. Hautaona maumivu. Because no one can take away your heart. Kwa sababu hakuna anayeweza kuchukua moyo wako. No one can take away your spirit. Hakuna anayeweza kuchukua nafsi yako. Only God himself. Mungu mwenyewe. Will take your heart. Ndiye atakayechukua moyo wako na roho yako. And will welcome you home. Na atakukaribisha nyumbani. We said daughter. Akisema you have suffered a lot. Umeteseka sana. Come. Jo. Come. Jo. Come. Jo. I've prepared for you. Nimeandaa kwa ajili yako. But Lord, I want to see where is Victor. Lakini Bwana nataka kuona Victor yuko hapa. Ah, Victor is also here. Victor yuko hapa pia. He give you grace to see whoever you want to see. Atakupa neema ya kumuona yoyote unayetaka kumuona. But you have the new body. Lakini utakuwa na mwili mpya. There is no marriage there. Hakuna ndoa huko. Though we are peace, I want to say with mama pass even there. Pamoja nakuwa ninataka kukaa na mama mchungaji hata. But there will be no marriage there. Lakini hakuna ndoa huko. There will be no end of life there. Hakuna mwisho wa maisha. We'll be living there joyfully. Tako tunaishi huko kwa furaha. With our God. Na Mungu wetu. Hallelujah. 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 Family the attitude which you must have when Familia, you, are, you suffer persecution. Kuna tabia unapaswa kuwa nazo unapopitia dhiki. Number one, Moja. Don't talk talk too much. Usizungumze sana. Don't talk talk too much. Usizungumze sana. Be fearless. Kuwa mtu asiye na hofu. Unmovable. Na usitikiswe. Don't lose your faith. Usipoteze imani yako. Don't lose your faith. Usipoteze imani yako. I once told people a few days ago. Kuna wakati niliwaambia watu siku kadhaa zizi. I remember one pastor who preached about Jesus to, to his disciples. Ninamkumbuka mchungaji mmoja aliyehubiri habari za Yesu kwa wanafunzi wake. And he had a church. Na alikuwa na kanisa. And the antichrist people entered the church. Na mpinga Kristo akaingia. This, and they said who are rejecting Jesus stay on this side. Na akasema wale wanaomkataa Yesu akae upande huu. Those who are accepting Jesus stay on this side. Na wale wanaomkubali Yesu akae upande huu. We are going to kill them. Tunaenda kuwaua. All of the church members they stayed on the side of Jesus. Kanisa lote likakaa upande wa Yesu. Pastor rejected Jesus. Mchungaji akamkataa Yesu. He stayed on this side. Akakaa upande huu. So they killed everyone from church. Kwa hiyo wakaua kila mtu kanisani. And then they said. Alafu akasema you are the one wewe ndiye who converted these people to Christianity. Uliowabadilisha watu kwenda kwenye Ukristo. Even though you have rejected Jesus. Japokuwa umemkataa Yesu. We are also killing you. Pia tunakuua. So they killed that pastor. Wao wakamua huyo mchungaji pia. He rejected Jesus at the last time. Alimkataa Yesu mara ya mwisho. That is why I'm telling you. Ndio maana ninakwambia usitikiswe. Nobody should move you away. Asiwepo akubadilisha njia. Be strong stay with the Lord. Kwa imara kusimama na Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 28. Kitabu Mathayo sura ya 10 mstari wa 28 The Bible says Biblia inasema Fear not them who kills the body Msiwaogope wao wanaoua mwili They can't kill Hawezi kuua your spirit Roho zenu Your spirit is safe Roho yako iko salama Come on say my spirit is safe Sema roho yangu iko salama You can kill my body Unaweza kuua mwili wangu But my spirit is safe Lakini roho yangu iko salama Why Kwa nini It was said in the book of Isaiah Sababu imeandikwa katika Isaya 53 By his stripes. Kwa kupigwa kwake. I am healed. Nimepona. What is it being healed? Nini kinachopona? Your spirit family. Ni roho yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't worry about it. Kwa usiwe na hofu. Don't worry about it. Usiwe na hofu. Don't worry about. Usiwe na hofu. Number three. Number tatu. Have joy during persecution. Uwe na furaha ukipitia dhiki. Have joy during persecution. Uwe na furaha ukipitia dhiki. I love the book of Matthew. Ninakipenda kitabu cha Mathayo. When you go in the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 12. Kitabu cha Mathayo sura ya 5 mstari wa 12. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, Rejoice. Furaini. And be exceeding glad. Na muwe na furaha sana. For so persecuted. Kwa mkipitia dhiki. Rejoice. Kweni na furaha. Even when you are being persecuted. Hata mkipitia dhiki. Just rejoice. Furai. Number four, do not be ashamed. Namba 4 usione aibu. Do not be ashamed. Usione aibu. Do not be ashamed. Usione aibu. Do not be ashamed. Usione aibu. Number five. Namba 5. The Bible says Biblia inasema In the second book of Corinthians chapter 12 Katika Korinto wa pili sura ya 12 Verse 10 Mstari wa 10 The Bible says Biblia inasema I take pressure Nina I take pressure in persecution for Christ's sake Ninafurahia dhiki kwa ajili ya Kristo 
I take pleasure in persecution for Christ's sake. Don't worry, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. I don't know why God has been insisting us teaching about these things. I don't know what you have been through. Maybe you thought God has left you because of your economy. Sometimes you may not have money. God is seeing you that you are passing through persecution. Persecution is not only people to beat you or not only to kill you but persecution you may not even have money. People may even reject you. To God he is regarding it as persecution. When you read in the book of Revelation those people who have been persecuted the martyrs those who have been killed for Christ after the throne of God they are down here they are down here they are after the throne they are down it's like they are the foundation of the throne God has favored them the highest place in heaven just after him it follows those who died for Christ it follows those who were killed for Christ it follows those who their life had no value for Christ but they valued more Jesus they, they valued more Jesus be faithful during persecution until the end be faithful be immovable I know who I am I am a child of God I cannot be moved it's very easy to say those words now family even Jesus said there Eloi Eloi lama sabakitana there was a time God the father left Jesus it will come a time you will suffer but it won't take so long it won't take so long family Jesus is about to come and take his church we need to be ready but before he comes persecution will come persecution has started get ready don't compromise get ready don't compromise Jesus is the only way to heaven there are people who are saying that Jesus is not the only way I am here to tell you that Jesus is the only way no any other way to go to heaven unless you have received Jesus you will go to heaven without receiving Jesus you won't go to heaven look here I stood at the door I am knocking at the door anyone who will open this door and receive me I will enter to him and I will be with him and he will be with me we will be one we will be one we will be one when God will be looking at you he will see you as himself this is the highest call highest call be looked at just the same as God being valued the same as God that's why the Bible says as he is so are we if Jesus is holy I can be holy if he was persecuted I am happy to be persecuted but being persecuted without Jesus you won't get to heaven you need Jesus and the Lord and your personal Savior Jesus is about to come Jesus is about to take the church get ready for the kingdom of God is here for the tribulation and persecution is also here for the antichrist is here antichrist is here 
Pinga Kristo yupo. Is in this world. Yupo ulimwenguni. Focus. Zingatia. They will change the gospel. Na ubadilishe. They will change the gospel. Wataibadilisha injili. Focus. Zingatia. The gospel is not about being blessed alone. Injili sio kuhusiana na baraka tu. Even by being poor. Hata kwa kuwa maskini. It is gospel. Ni injili. If it is you are called to be poor. Kama ni mwito wako kuwa maskini. Nobody should say if you are poor you are not a Christian. Hakuna kusema kwamba kama ni maskini sio mkristo. Only do the will of God. Siku zote fanya kusudi la Mungu. Only by receiving Jesus. Kwa kumpokea Kristo. And not compromise the Christian. Na kuto kuhitarisha. There is no another God. Hakuna Mungu mwingine. Only Jesus is the God. Yesu peke yake ndiye Mungu. Yeshua Hamashiach. Yesu Masia. He the only God. Yeye ndiye Mungu pekee. Who came in this world in Ali form of a man? Aliyekuja kwenye huu ulimwengu. He was despised. Alikuja kama mtu na akadharauliwa. He was rejected. Alikataliwa. Yet he was crucified. Na bado alisulubishwa. Nobody could know that he was God. Hakuna aliyezajua kwamba ni Mungu. But thank God for the Holy Spirit. Lakini tunamshukuru Mungu kwa roho. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Asante Mungu kwa roho. Who has revealed it in us? Ambaye amefunua kwetu. Even if we are not there 2000 years ago. Hata kama hatukua huko miaka 2000 iliyopita. But through the Holy Spirit. Lakini kupitia roho mtakatifu. Tunaweza kuhisi jinsi Yesu alivyotoka. Now we are saved. Sasa tumeokoka. Thank God to the Holy Spirit. Nashukuru Mungu kwa Roho Mtakatifu. He is the one. Ye yeah, ndiye. Who is revealing, revealing all of the truth. Anayefunua kweli yote. Come on send up somebody and thank God for Simama his spirit. Yako. We are in the last days. I want women who can pray before the Lord. I want women who can say Lord. Where is the revival? Where is revival? Wapi wa msho? Where is revival? Wapi wa msho? You said after Billy Graham to leave. Umesema baada ya Billy Graham kuondoka. After Oral Robert to leave. Baada ya Oral Robert kuondoka. The revival will come. Wa msho unakuwa. Lord, where is revival? Bwana wa msho wa. Release the revival. Atimie wa msho. We want people to be saved. Tunataka watu waokolewe. Lord, where is the revival? Bwana wa msho kwa. Where is the revival? Wa msho Lord release the revival. Atilie wa msho. We need to see this nation being revived. The world being revived. Tunataka kuona dunia ikipata wa msho. Lord revival. Bwana wa msho. Revival. Wa msho. I want people who can cry for revival. Nataka watu wanaweza kulia kwa ajili ya wa. I want five to six women. Watu watano hadi wanawake watano. Women, women, women. Wanawake watano. Who can come and cry here for revival? kuja hapa akalia kwa ajili ya can come and cry for revival wanaweza kuja akalia kwa ajili ya wamsho cry for revival dia kwa ajili ya wamsho cry for revival dia kwa ajili ya wamsho cry for revival dia kwa ajili ya wamsho my father my maker baba yangu mfuatio wangu my father my father baba yangu baba yangu where is the revival wamsho kwa api go your revival I want women who can cry women who can cry before the lord and the lord will hear them and the lord is healing them in jesus my name in jesus my name come on pray somebody pray somebody for revival pray for revival somebody yes pray 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 Yes Lord Yes Mataifa yo che yata kusani
As we are praying here, I heard the voice of the Lord clearly that we want revival but we must pay for the price we must pay for the price for it to happen for it to come I want people to continue to pray just say Lord I am ready I am ready to pay the price in prayers so that revival may come so that revival may come Lord thank you for revival thank you for revival for you are giving us grace you are giving us grace to pay price in Jesus my name in Jesus my name in Jesus my name thank you wonderful Jesus thank you precious Jesus thank you Jesus thank you our Lord and Savior in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we thank you Amen you deserve the glory Thank you so much. Lord, we lift our hands to worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. Lord Jesus. Come on. And Hannah, eh, eh. Lord, we lift our hands to worship as we praise your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one like you. As we praise your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 This is just the beginning. We should keep on praying in our homes. When you have time, just come here for prayer. May God bless everyone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is now we are going to give our praise offering. Let me thank God for the word of God. Father, we thank you for the word. Which we have given unto us. We thank you and we glorify you. We pray that everyone who has received the word should not remain the same. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.